Hello friends, today I will solve a lead code medium problem on arrays. So the problem is remove duplicates from sorted array 2. So the problem says given an integer array nums sorted in non-decreasing order, we need to remove some duplicates in place such that each unique element appears at most twice and the relative order of elements should be kept the same. So we need to keep an element at most twice in the array and we need to do it in place. So if there are k elements after removing the duplicates, then the first k elements of nums array should hold the final result and we need to return k after placing the final result in the first k slots of num. To store the output array or to store the result, we will use the nums array and we will return the size of the result array. So it's given that we must do this by modifying the input array in place with order of 1 extra memory. So let's understand the given problem with the examples. So in the first example, you can see 1 is appearing 3 times. So in the output, an element can be present at most two times. So one is present two times. Then two is present two times in the input array. So two can be present two times in the output array. Similarly, three is present only once. So three is present in the output array. So size of the output will be five and all the five elements are at the beginning of nums array. Similarly, in the second example, first zeros are appearing two times. So both the zeros will be in the output array. Similarly, you can see one is appearing four times, but an element can appear at most two times. So one is appearing two times in the output array. Similarly, two is appearing one time in the input array. So two is appearing one time in the output array and three is appearing two times in the input array. So three is appearing two times in the output array. So the output is seven and all the seven elements are at the beginning of nums array. Let's understand the problem with the given examples. So I have considered the first problem. So I have declared a variable called strict count. So strict count means number of contiguous occurrences of an element in the array. So for example, so for one strict count will be three because one is occurring three times in the nums array and all the occurrences are contiguous. Similarly for two, the strict count will be two and for three, the strict count will be one. So I will start from the first element. So here one is appearing for the first time. So the strict count for one will be one and I will store one at index k that is at index 0. So 1 will be swapped with 1 itself. Now I will increment k to 1. Then I will go to next element. At index i equal to 1, the 1 is appearing again. So I will increment the strict count of 1. So the strict count for 1 will be 2 now. And as you know that an element can occur at most 2 times in the output array. So this one will be present in the output array. So I will store this one at index k equal to 1 or at the same index. Now I'll increment k equal to 2. So k represents the index of next element in output array and here we are using the nums array as the output array. So now I'll go to next index that is i equal to 2. So here you can see the value is 1. So now I'll increment the strict count because in the previous index the value was 1 and now at the current index the value is 1. So I will update the strict count to 3. Now 1 is occurring 3 times but I can store a element at most 2 times in the output array. So I will ignore this element. Next I will go to next index that is i equal to 3. Here the value is 2 and 2 is appearing for the first time. So now I will reset the strict count to 1. Now the strict count is less than or equal to 2. So I will store 2 at index k. So the value of k is 2. So I will store 2 at index 2. Now I will increment k to 3. Then I will go to next index that is i equal to 4. 2 is present again. So the strict count of 2 will be increased to 2. And the strict count is less than or equal to 2. That is the maximum number of times an element can appear in the output array. So I will store this 2 at index k that is 3. So I will store 2 here. Then I will update i to 5. Here I can see 3 is appearing for the first time. So 
I'll reset the strict count to 1 and the strict count is less than or equal to 2. So I'll store 3 at index 4 and I'll update k to 5. So you can see the output size is 5. So from index 0 to 4 consists of output array. So in the output you can see 1 then 1 then 2 then 2 then 3. So this is the output and we will return k that is the size of the output array that is 5. Next, I will consider the second example. So, I will start from k equal to 0 and i equal to 0. So, 0 is appearing for the first time. So, the strict count for 0 will be 1. Now I will store 0 at k equal to 0 or at the same index then I will update k to 1 then I will update i to 1 at index 1 the value is 0 and 0 is appearing for the second time so I will update the strict count to 2 I will check 0 with the previous index and the previous index value is also 0 so I can say the 0 is repeating so I will update the strict count or increase the strict count so now I will store 0 at index 1. Now I will update the k to 2. Then I will go to next index that is 3. Here the value is 1. So 1 is appearing for the first time. So now I will reset the strict count to 1. Then I will store 1 at index 2. Now I will increment k to 3. Next I will go to next index that is i equal to 4. So here the value is 1 again. And the value at previous index was 1 also. So, I will increment the strict count to 2. The strict count is less than or equal to 2. That is the maximum number of times an element can appear in the output array. So, I will store 1 again at index 3. That is, I will replace it with itself. Now, the k becomes 4. I will go to next index. That is, i equal to 5. I can see 1 is appearing again. And at the previous index, 1 was present. So, I will increment the strict count to 3. Now, strict count is greater than 2. So, this 1 will not be part of the output. Then I will increment i to 5. So at this index the value is 1 and at the previous index the value is 1. So I will increase the strict count to 4. As the strict count is greater than 2, so this one will not be part of output. So I will increment i to 6. At index 6 the value 2 is present and 2 is appearing first time. So I will reset the strict count to 1. Then I will store 2 at index k that is at index 4. Now I will increase the k value to 5. Then I will go to next index that is i equal to 7. At this index the value is 3 which is appearing for the first time. So I will reset the strict count to 1. I will store 3 at index k that is at index 5. Then I will increase the value of k by 1. So the k will be 6. Now I will go to next index that is i equal to 8. Here again 3 is present. So, I will increase the strict count to 2. As the strict count is less than or equal to 2, so I will store 3 at index k, that is at index 6. Then I will increase the strict count to 7. The size of the output is 7, and from index 0 to 6 is the output array. Then at the end, we will return the size that is 7 or k. Now I will code the solution. So the first element or element at index 0 will always be part of solution. So I will start from first index. So k will be 1 and strict count will be 1. Then I will start from the first index that is i equal to 1 i less than nums dot length i plus plus. So if the current element that is nums of i equal to nums of i minus 1 or same as the previous element then I will increment the strict count else I will reset 
the strict count. At the end, I'll check if strict count is less than equal to 2. That is the maximum number of times an element is allowed in the output array. So I will store that value at index nums of k. So I am storing nums of i at nums of k. Then I am incrementing k by 1. So at the end, I will return k. That is the size of the output array. So now let's run it for the sample test cases. So sample test cases are running fine. Now I'll submit it. You can see it's working as expected. So now let's discuss the time and space complexity. So here I am just doing a linear traversal of the input array. So the time complexity will be big O of n and I'm declaring two extra variables. So space complexity will be big O of 1 that is constant. Thank you.